Hello and welcome to this video on saving and exporting on EBSCO. We're going to take a look at saving searches, saving results and exporting results. To save and export, you will need to first register for an EBSCO host account, which you can do from the folder icon at the top here. To save a search, if you click on the line which has your final set of results on, or you can click on the box at the top to save all the lines, and then click Save Searches slash Alerts. You then just need to give your search a name and then choose whether you want to save permanently or temporarily. You can also from this screen create alerts for your search. I will just mention here that the search will save in the database or databases you were using at the time, but when you rerun your search later on, you can change to a different database. Once you click save, you will be taken to the My Folder screen and we can see our saved searches here just on the left. You can choose to create a custom folder which will allow you to save searches and results together based off the same topic in one place. To do this, click on New next to My Custom and give your folder a name. You can create a custom folder before you save your search and results, or you can do it later and move items over. To move a search, visit the Save Searches section, click on the search you want to move, and then click on Move To and the new folder. Click on the little plus sign next to a folder to see what you've saved in there. For results, these can be saved individually or in batches. To individually save, click on the blue icon folder next to a result on the right hand side and then select where you want to send it to. If you want to save everything on the page, go to share just at the top here and select results 1 to 50. You will need to do this on each page of results. Anything that is saved will show a yellow folder icon instead of the blue one. To export results, for example, if you want to copy save to your device or to move results to a reference management system, you then need to find the results you want to export. Select the individual results, or you can again click on the select all just at the top here. And then select export just on the right. You then just need to select the most appropriate file type for you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please contact your site library if you have any further questions or visit the help section just at the top here.